he then gives the explanation of why we're, we've been chosen. He says, Huajdabakum. The easy translation of Huajdabakum is, in fact, he's the one. He has selected you. He has chosen you. But the Arabic word here for choosing or ijtiba, the, the word that's selected here by Allah is very special. If you say the word ikhtiyar, which is also a word for choice, then it comes from the word khair, meaning you prefer something or something is, you make a better choice. That's ikhtiyar. You can say istifa, istafa or istifa in the Arabic language, which comes from safwa, purity. When you make a choice, you don't have to explain anybody, to anybody else why you made that choice. For example, when you go shopping, and you buy like a blue shirt, you don't owe somebody a scientific explanation, why did you pick the blue shirt, why didn't you get the white shirt? That's istifa, it's purely your choice. There's no rationale necessary. But when you say ijtiba, which is the word Allah chose here, when He described that He chose you and me to be Muslim, that word actually comes from jabu. Jabu in Arabic, in old Arabic actually get, the, the verb used to be used for tax collection. Back in the day, the people who made enough money owed taxes. Obviously, even now, you have to be above a certain level minimum income before you're qualified to be, to, to be selected for tax collection. Ijtiba actually means to make a choice based on qualifications. So in other words, you know when you get hired for a job, or if you're fixing your car, or you're, you're, you're tightening a screw or something, and you pick the right tool for that job, you just did ijtiba. Because if you pick any other tool, it doesn't do the job. When you make the right choice for the right job, that is called ijtiba. In other words, what I'm trying to tell you and what I'm trying to remind myself of is that when Allah honored you and me to be Muslim, the fact that you and I say la ilaha illallah, the fact that you and I have, have the gift of saying Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam is actually a very precise choice from Allah of you and me. There were plenty of other human beings available before Allah on this planet and Allah chose precisely you and me to be Muslim for a task that he has. Because ijtiba is done for a particular purpose, for a task. So now, you are, we aren't just chosen to be Muslim, we're chosen to be Muslim because we have a mission in front of us. And that mission he already describes is you have to struggle for Allah as is worthy of the struggle that should be made for him. And then he, and then he adds finally, now that I realize I've been chosen, even though I've been chosen, I, I'm still thinking this is too hard of a job. How am I going to do this? Fine. Allah sees something in me, I don't even see it in myself. I don't even see what's so special about me. Why did I get chosen? You know, there's so many better people out there. But Allah is, and this is too hard anyway. Islam is way too hard. What Allah is asking of me is too much. I can't do it. And what are the next words from Allah Himself? وَمَا جَعَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الدِّينِ مِنْ حَرَجْ he did not place for you in the religion any difficulty, any discomfort, any tightness whatsoever. In other words, this is Allah Himself telling you, relax, I'll make it easy. Don't you worry about that. You're the right man for the job. You're the right woman for the job. You were the one chosen for this time, this day, and this age. You know, when you look around now, you see that Muslims are, we're, we're the target of media attention, political craziness. I, I travel to England all the time. But this last time I traveled, I got exhaustively questioned. What are you doing here? You know? <laughs> I got questioned, like, why are you here? That's never happened before. So most, things are becoming tougher and tougher for Muslims. They are, in many, many ways. But that's okay. You know what? Allah chose you and me to be born in this generation, in this day and age, knowing full well these are the trials we're going to have. And the best people qualified to struggle in these trials are the Muslims alive today. That's the choice of Allah. That's why, he, that's why you and I are taking a breath right now. If we didn't have a purpose for us, because He only creates for purpose. خَلَقَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ بِالْحَقِّ وَصَوَّرَكُمْ He created the skies and the earth with precise purpose and molded you. So He molded you and me and put us in this position because we have a purpose to serve. And then even though that's a challenging purpose, Allah Himself gives the orientation and says, I'm not going to make it any hard for you. It's not going to be difficult at all. I'll take you back to the analogy I gave you in the beginning. There's that job interview, and the guy gave you an impossible job description. And you're sitting there thinking, there's no way I'll get hired. And then he hires you. And your first thought is, I'm not qualified. And he says, relax, I know what I'm doing. I've been hiring for a long time. I see something in you. Even if you don't think you know, you'll learn pretty quickly. You know, 
I, I know talent when I see it. So he's encouraging you, and he's acknowledging you in a way that you didn't even think you saw in yourself. The other thing that's happening here is every Muslim is supposed to see value in themselves. No believer can think that they're useless before Allah. That they're pointless, that they're meaningless before Allah. They're worthless. They are worthy of Allah. They're worthy because Allah made a special choice of them. A special choice of them. Download our mobile applications or register on our official website to get access to exclusive content. Links given in description of video.